Welcome to the Control-M Video Solutions. This video is on the hardware and sizing requirements for Control-M version 9.0.18. When planning new environments, the size required is a vital element. This video will show how BMC can help with this step. In the installation guide, there's a section titled Hardware Sizing Template. This contains the information that we need to calculate the size of your environment. Uh, we need to know values such as how many jobs you keep in your active jobs file, your AJF, how many definitions you have, how many copies of the, the jobs that you keep, whether you use forecast, BIM, uh, workload archiving. So fill out all the fields. Do your best to get uh, good numbers. Uh, if you're running 5,000 jobs now and you're getting ready to add a lot more jobs, you might want to put down that you're running 10,000 jobs. It's it's better in this case to have higher numbers than lower numbers. Once you have all the numbers available as much as you can, then open a support case on hardware sizing recommendations. We can run the, the numbers through a sizing calculator that we have and be able to send you information back on machine resources needed. So the machine resources needed are very specific to the installation. Uh, I'll show you in the demo today. We're going to move on to the next slide. And here I'm showing the values that we're using for our demonstration purposes. This is not specific to any one environment. So make sure that you, you do send us the, the correct information. So for today's demo, we're going to use version 9.18. Uh, we're going to have 10,000 job definitions, 5,000 active jobs a day using a Postgres database, only one control M server, uh, BIM forecast, self-service, and change manager are all installed. So let's run the numbers and see what, what kind of values we get. So once again, I want to stress that these are just for demonstration purposes based on the values that we put in. Please send us your values. We'll be glad to run them. Uh, we'll send you a report back. Uh, it has several sections on it. This is the Enterprise Manager section. You can see at the top that it's all the assumptions that we used to build the numbers. And the bottom part has the data, has the machine resources. And these are minimum re recommendations. So we say database size 1 gig. That's a minimum of 1 gig. Uh, memory required 8 gig, minimum of 8 gig. So let's move on to the next section, which is the server side, server part. So here's the control M server. Once again, you can see our assumptions in the top and our values in the bottom. And one thing about the enterprise manager and the server, if they're on the same machine, then you need to add these values together. This is, uh, for example, the memory required for EM was 8 gig, server is 8 gig. You're going to need more than 8 gig if you put both of them on the same machine. Uh, moving on to the last part of the information we provide, and this is for the workload archiving. And this is the machine specifications needed for that. So send us your information. We'll be glad to run it through the calculator, calculate it up, and send you back the machine size that we have estimated. Uh, this concludes this video. Thanks for watching. Thank you for watching our video. We hope you found it useful and please see our YouTube site for other videos. Thanks.